Hey, you're tuned in to Queen TV. Greetings, Royals, and welcome back to Queen TV. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I know I haven't posted a video in over a month. My computer broke on me so it was dead for weeks i took it to apple and they did some type of reset thing on it and it started back working like this they didn't charge me for it so i still have my same old slow computer but i'm grateful that it still worked and i didn't have to spend any money on it so um yes I, first of all i want to shout out to adore poop i told her like weeks ago um the situation and i was gonna post a video on monday and i never get to it so you finally got your video girl um and i'm just kind of gonna give y'all an update of what's been going on since my computer has been down first of all how y'all doing let me know in the comments below like how are y'all what y'all been up to what y'all been doing i have had some newness in my life and it's been a, a journey um uh, me and god have been like just like <sighs> We've been here, like me and God, like God. Uh, I went on a 37 day fast. This was probably the most difficult fast that I've been on, um, but one of the most rewarding fasts. When I first started the fast, I was kind of asking God for some things that, um, you know, young singles want. Um, all the things that a young single girl would want was on my list and a lot of it was about me. First of all, let's, let's get right into this episode. Don't you love me? I'm talking about the ugly me. The me I went on a 37 day fast um, with my uh, life group. And I told y'all about my life group. It's a group of girl oh, ladies. A group of ladies who come together um, weekly um, to just discuss life, to go through life together. So you don't have to go through problems or issues or highs and lows by yourself. You have people around you who can encourage you, who can build you, who can help you. And that's what my life group is for. So one of my sisters, my sister friends, she created a 37 day fast and it was just this list of things that um, we were fasting from and of course, uh, personal things. And when I tell y'all, when I first started that fast, again, it was a list of things that young singles a lot of young single women uh would have on their prayer list and some things only come through prayer and fasting so i had this long list and it was so much about me it was a lot about me and about me um and god convicted me like i want to say the second week of the fast he convicted me like you need to turn your focus this list of stuff like this is not even why you should be fasting you need to focus on me more because your attention has shifted and it's so much about you and what you want and what you want me to give you and you're seeking my hand but i want you to seek my face i want you to be in my feet i want you seeking me who i am not what i can give you what i can do for you what i can bring you out of what i can bring to you but just seek me seek the creator and not the things that i've created um and i was so convicted y'all because um it was that same month my pastor started a sermon series about pride. <sighs> Y'all, go and listen to the sermon series. It is on our Innovation Church app. It's a free app. Um, it's on YouTube. It's on, um, what else is on? Yeah, you can, it's on our website. So you don't even have to download the app if you don't want to. Go to our website, innovationchurchmethods.org, innovationchurchmethods.com. Uh, both will take you there so you can get all of these messages but y'all when I tell y'all they're the type of messages who make you just want to want to be quiet want you to apologize want you to focus more outwardly than inwardly I'm not speaking for anybody else I only that's what I talk about that's what this channel is about my experiences and what I've seen and what I've been through um Yes, the sermon series, it, it is so my goodness. Y'all, you have to go listen to it for yourself. Pride is a killer. Pride will kill relationships. It will kill opportunities. It will kill you. 
it will kill you you'll be walking around bitter you'll be walking around just angry and mad because of your pride like it stops so many things and um yeah i i was very prideful and i wrote this kind of prayer to god apologizing um during one of the messages like i was sitting on the front row and i was just in worship and the night before i had asked god like god i just need i need to know that you're with me god just show me you i i just i'm expecting something from you and um the next sunday he came and he it was just like he hugged me he was just hugging me and like baby girl i'm with you um i will never leave you i will never forsake you i can't even believe that you were too prideful to even ask me you know and i apologize to him like god i i apologize for acting as if i didn't need you for um not coming to you um you know like i should have um knowing who he is knowing um knowing him um but again y'all go listen to the pride sermon series and kill kill it kill your pride kill your pride if there's something you need to do there's something you need to say someone you need to apologize to kill your pride and do it, it it's ridiculous i was just i was so convicted um and um i started apologizing to people like even when even when it was moments where i was like i don't even know how that came out i'm still gonna go and apologize because i don't want to put my pride in a, in a way and end up messing up opportunities when i don't even know like so i'm just gonna i'm gonna be in a, on the up and up with everyone like whoever i come in contact with like because i can't i can't risk it you know i'm just grateful y'all so i've been talking for seven minutes and i said this video was not gonna be long i'm gonna give y'all an update on what i've been doing so um again i spoke at the diamonds girl camp again i definitely lost that footage but shout out to the girls that attended um i'm sorry i got a lot of footage in my phone i wanted these uh sweepstakes so i went shopping um uh, tamara came and helped me kind of go um on this little spree maybe i do that a separate video just uploading what i did without putting it on this video but let me i know like hey the video will come soon i'm just not gonna put it in here because i don't want this video to be that long okay um what else did i do y'all i'm gonna rock climbing for the first time it was amazing i was very scared but it was pretty dope and i received an email from them saying that on august 24th free rock climbing so if you're in memphis go check out high point rock climbing oh uh, what else have i done um oh i told y'all that but please go purchase your tickets i will be hosting and speaking at the walk into your journey conference shout out to my line sister it will be september the 6th through the 8th um yep so i'll be emceeing and i will be on a panel discussion so go get y'all tickets this is I want to say this is my first conference, I think. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm very excited for the opportunity. Also, I got another opportunity. Um, I'm probably going to put the song on here. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let y'all hear my verse and uh, probably some of DG's verse. But uh, I was given the opportunity to rap. Y'all know I'm a rapper. Uh, not really, but a little rapper. I be rapping sometimes. I only rap really for my church, but when I get different little opportunities, I gonna do it. Especially for, especially, especially if it's for the kingdom. So I was on his second album. Um, this is the second music um, album that he released, and it released on yesterday. It's not on digital platforms yet, but. I think he mentioned that it will be out next week. So I'm on it. Um, the song is titled Queen. How ironic. Like, what a coinky dink. <laughs> um, and I'm going to let y'all hear it. So I just want to shout out God and thank him for adopting me as his daughter. It's through a relationship with him that I became a kingdom woman who effortlessly embraces nobility. 
And you know, I believe that it's my job to encourage other women that they are also queens. He walked up to her like, what's up, shot? I'm digging your style and I'm loving your body. It's the same game, just a different dude. He was speaking to a queen, but he never knew. So she kept walking with her head up. She on a mission, never let up. Never. Wonder Woman getting her bread up. No ring, no whistle, no bed, bro. God told her what she was worth. She told God she'll keep him first. He said, daughter, I made you royalty. And then he changed the name from queen to the queen. So she started bracing nobility. Pity 31, dripping in dignity. More than Ruby, so she worth it, she worth it. Waiting on him. Why she working, she working, she working. Them business. So she purpose, she purpose, paid in full. That's a purchase, a purchase. Ephesians 2, she say, raise and seat it. Like Mary, she at the feet of Jesus. She on to respond when she is greedy. Confidence in God, so she never conceded. Replace the heart, it was shattered to pieces. She a queen, queen, but see the king was needed. She a queen, queen. She got flawless, she ain't perfect. You a queen, queen. Crown on, she so worthy. You a queen, queen. Young Ruth, you the truth. She a queen, queen. She love God and that's what it do, you a queen, queen She got flowers, she ain't perfect, you a queen, queen Crown on, she so worth it, you a queen, queen Young Ruth, you the truth, she a queen, queen She love God and that's what it do, you a queen, queen Go support BG, look it up, um, he's on Instagram, BG the chosen one He's on Facebook, Damian Griffin um, yeah, and I'll put his information in the description. But other than that, y'all, I have really been doing amazing. Um, this vegan journey has been uh, really difficult. I almost gave up three times, especially when I was on that fast. But I'm still, still going strong. Um, tell me some of the things that you have accomplished or you're entering in a new season. This is just a new season of newness. I want to say something about the new a new season of newness too. Like when you enter in a season of newness, um, it be like oh, it be like a little battle. Um, you battling with the unknown because you literally don't know what's about to happen. You're you're just like trusting God in it, and that's the other side to it. You literally have to trust God in it, like. I've been in um, too many situations of where I wanted to do my own thing, but I could not. Um, because of this season of newness, I had to fully lean not on my own understanding and trust God with everything in me. Um, and listen, this is the kicker. So I had to listen to wise counsel. Um, sometimes we get a little afraid and we want to up bag up or we get um, so caught up in what we used to do in our old season that we try to bring that oldness into the newness and it, it don't it don't it don't work it don't go together um, so in this season of newness if you're going into a season of newness or you're coming out of a, a old season and starting some or just at a random little place in life Honestly, trust God. Trust God. Even in the unknown, trust God. Even in the uncomfortableness, trust God. Even in the moments or times where you want to do the old, stay faithful and allow God to do something new in you, in your life, in this season. And uh, I'm out. That's all I have for y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. We are at 600 Royals, y'all. What? That's a that's a hair flip. What? 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 Y'all, I'm really not bougie. I'm hood. I'm very hood, actually. But thank God for this season. Thank God for the newness. Thank God for um, just being God and God alone. For being the creator of this universe. The creator of my soul. Creator of your soul. Um, and he is amazing. He's wonderful. And I love him so much. And guess what? He loves you too. So, kingdom women and the men, effortlessly embrace your nobility. I'll post another video, but I don't know when. But you'll get one. Bye.